pretty powerful stuff. And then on uh, Soapy. All right, our players are down. ready for our top eight match. So let's head down and join them. We've got Friends of Eternal, number one seed Sunnyvale versus the Misplays, Soap Yellow, making the top eight in their first TNE. So congrats, Soap Yellow, on that. For our top eight, let's head down to the action. All right, hey. welcome everyone to the feature match. We've got Sunnyvale at the bottom of your screen, looking at a hand. Two power, Permafrost, D'Angelo, Hound, uh, that's not Houndmaster, which is this D'Angelo? Strong arm, sorry, D'Angelo, strong arm, Char, Flash <laughs> Fry, and Crafty Occultist. I was like, wait, when did this get, <laughs> did this get nerfed mid-tournament? <laughs> not quite. Yeah, it, it plays an urn. A relic, notably. So mm. if uh, if the urn is not a uh, is not a factor in the game, they can sack it to a uh, to rocket blaster to deal three. Um, uh, Soapy Yellow's hand. I'm not too sure about this hand. They don't have any fire, and they do have a uh, a Houndmaster and a Varbrek in hand, but they do have the uh, the um, Dovid as well as Manacle. So maybe they keep it. I don't know. I would not. Nope. Something to toss that back. Three power. Midnight Soul, Midchief Solace here. Flash Fry, Daheen Blitz, and a Permafrost. I'm going to keep that one. Pass it back to Soap Ooh. Yellow, who's got D'Angelo, Houndmaster, Dovid, Valruk, Argo, and Manacles. And all three factions. Needs double fire, but can at least play out their units on curve. So this Dovid's going to come down. It's going to be Permad. going to be a good time. <laughs> Yeah, gonna have to perma though, because you know what matches up well against a 3 2 quick draw is a 4 4 for 2. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They could play auto tread and discard to. Uh... Wait. Wow, that's a bold attack. Yeah, what a... Look at Sunny well, with the jump the flash check. Fry. They, have the, they have the flash fry in hand. That's right. That is a fast stall. Fry. That's fair. Okay, still, still a pretty good attack there for Sunny. All right, can we get that perma, as you said, follow up with the auto tread? Yep, I think they're going to just this here. It's the perfect answer because they, they, it's a three drop, right? And then next turn, they can fire off two, two, two drops or something if they want to. The League Explorer as a follow up was pretty nice, though. Especially since uh, Sunny is one power away from casting the Heat and Blitz. Ooh, Soapy Yellow with the fire sigil off the top. That's that's a really strong play. Well, is it for that strong? I think they might just no. Okay, they 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 decide to play the Varbuck. They could have played double D'Angelo Houndmaster as well. Flash fire comes down, kills it. Yeah. Oh, look what it's <laughs> <of questions. laughs> The uh, the voice lines. There's there's I swear there's like three or four voice lines for uh for Varbuck depending on how it died or uh, if it comes into play and whatnot. I'm going to give it Aegis, which wa was uh, definitely prophetic for sure. <laughs> um, sometimes you give it a, you give it a quick draw in, in these spots because uh, it can attack past everything and it's an aggressive unit, but in this case it actually turned out to be pretty good Perma. All right, and then look at all these stunned yeah. units. As you may, you 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 called it. You said that this was the the challenge of the stuns, and here we go. Stun, stun, stun across the board for Sunny. Soap Yellow is still at eighteen, but we do have a Dahin Blitz. There's a nice top end of the curve plus a Darli. Both of those can make five attack flyers uh, when the time is right. Sunny playing it patiently and you know, not playing out the Darli. That's a, it's a really awkward time to play out the Darli when you have four or five power. It's like it's not really what you want to do. You kind of just want to hold it. Yeah. Perma comes down, hits the League Explorer. All right, they can attack with both. This is a um, this is a Jada. Oh, this attack isn't great into it. Although they, they kind of need to to do it because they need to pump up this attack. Yeah. Although 
if they if they do it and pump up the attack, that means that both soldiers will have a good response. Although they can they can then play a dire lead to block so so that they can make it an O five. I don't know. There's uh, there's a lot of different lines here. Soap Soapy also has the Argos technique, right? So that can give the Jada plus two plus two and life steal. That's true. Which can actually just eat. I think it just eat the Amarok, right? Right. Yeah, it becomes a. A two seven after all, all is said and done. They have to think about what Sunny may have to, do, but in the end, I think that that's oh, they didn't do it. No, it didn't they do didn't it. Just gonna take the block. Make an O five. I wonder what. So Sunny had what two? So maybe another flash fry blows that out. I guess there's a couple things where that's a complete blowout if Sunny has fast spell removal there. Right. Update from the back tables, Aromanova winning a quick 2-0 over John K. Kez, so your number two seed over your seven seed, Aromanova moving on to your top four. I just see in the chat. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was uh, Soap Yellow, but I kind of like Soapy Elo. <laughs> Soapy Elo is pretty good. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it Soapy Yellow? Uh, I think it's Soap hey. Yellow, but uh, but yeah, Soapy. Your okay. Soapy Elo for your Elo rating is pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, Slippery, that, that's what I thought it down. was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's very volatile. It's it's a sli it's a slippery Elo. Big attacks coming in thanks to that Argo. Now, of course, the double damage on a zero attack doesn't do much. All right, permafrost. Permafrost can hit the, the, uh, the Argo from attacking. It can Argo also... from attacking. Yep. I think this is still lethal though if he yeah. does that. Even if you Just... do that. Boom, boom. No, it's not not quite right. Well, you, you get two Master triggers, right? Oh, only bad. if it's tandem though. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Alrighty, anyway, so if y'all are going to take that first one over, Sunny, go up one game. Remember, these are all best of three, of course. Right. So while they're getting set for their second one, doesn't look like we have any other results yet. But we will take a look. Is there a, is there a key to this, uh, to this matchup, you think? Being on the play obviously helps. Right. Um... What sort of uh, what are, if, you, if someone's playing this match this weekend, you know, on either side of this deck, what are you what are you looking out for in this type of matchup? Aggro versus aggro. I, I think in general you want to if you're on the play in the aggro matchup, you want to be the beatdown. If you're on the draw, you kind of a little bit controlling. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that it, you want to be doing things like uh, if you're on the draw, you want to be using your spells, right? You don't want to be you don't want to be as much playing to the board because you want to you want to, well, you still want to play to the board and protect, but you 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 force trades more often, and you want to be using your removal spells uh, instead of instead of playing to the board a lot. That's in general what I see mm -hmm. as a as the way to win um, the aggro mirrors, but um, obviously th that depends on the texture of your hand and whatnot too. Uh, you can you can be on the draw and still uh, still ha uh, still be able to force the issue if your opponent has a slow draw, for example. <clears throat> All right, so Sunny keeping one to power, although both depleted. Yeah, both. I guess you could potentially not both depleted, but it's awkward. Um, and then you have an auto tread, a D'Angelo Handmaster, and two Valise Bear Riders. On the other side of things, Soapy's looking at three power and a seat power, and then an Iron Priestess, a D'Angelo Houndmaster, and a Valise. Soapy also on the play. Helpful. Sunny drawing a Dahim Blitz. Yeah. So lots of top end for Sunny here, <sighs> but actually works out pretty well because they've got the Auto Tread and the Houndmaster for the early plays too. Actually, <laughs> pretty, ni pretty nice there for Sunny. I think I missed this Primal Sigil the first time, but yeah, that's going to allow a much better curve here. Ooh, Midchief Salus is good too. Yep, and I think that's what you play. Oh, they play a D'Angelo Houndmaster. Interesting enough, they they value the um, 
they value the Houndmaster a little bit more than the uh, or the the Meat Chief Salus more than the uh, Houndmaster. It is maybe they're trying to force out uh, some removal. Yeah, maybe, maybe mm-hmm. they just know that Sabila doesn't have that much removal in hmm. the deck, and it's all stun based. Interesting, interesting stuff for sure. So this attack here, obviously met with a. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, no attack there, so just passing it back. Fire sketch was the draw. Back there with just the Houndmaster. You don't you don't see that too often, the naked attack of the Houndmaster, but yeah, that's what you gotta do from Sunny's perspective. Well he couldn't have uh he couldn't have played the hound, he needs to Right, you couldn't play the hound next, anyway. Next turn next turn they can. Yeah. Just not something if, you see super often. Alright, here's yeah. the Valise, so Elise also has the powerful. So this tandem ability, I think we had enough time to to come to a understanding of the tandem ability with the new campaign, the new set that came out. I think it's been very powerful. I think it's pretty much changed, <laughs> you know, from Houndmaster to Elise to all sorts of other ones. The tandem ability has been very pushed on some of these cards. And for a good, I mean, for a good thing, I'm not complaining. I think it's brought a lot of life into some of these formats and it's been super interesting. I like some of these cards, uh, but the ability is is pretty powerful. So... Sunny, uh, dis- instead of discarding the uh, the power to play this, uh, I-, I guess they're they they are definitely probably playing this uh, a uh, Valise next turn, right? So, mm-hmm. ooh, the the Argo comes down, stuns three units, Oof. three units. That means that uh, that this Valise coming down actually won't trigger a tandem attack next turn. That's right, it won't. And getting a tandem attack of their own. So Zobie's going to attack for 8, get to loot, and yeah, shutting off the tandem attack on Sunny's side. Do they have to pitch 3 cards to kill this Argo? Because otherwise it's going to be dealing quite a bit. They can attack with the Valise and the uh, Argo, and both of them will have double damage. That's 5 plus 8. No, that's uh, 10 plus 8, right? That's 18 uh, yeah. damage. So yeah, these will both get plus one, plus one, and double damage. That's what you're saying, right? So yeah, it'll be five and four. Yeah, yeah, eighteen damage coming through. I mean, you can and you can't really chump because they'll have overwhelm thanks to the valise, and that's assuming Soap Yellow doesn't have nothing and has nothing in hand. And we know that Soap Yellow has manacles and a permafrost, so you can't really rely on blockers. But throwing away three cards to kill Argo is tough, and that's what Sunny's thinking about right here. That's a tough decision, but I think you might be right. I think that's Sun- that might be Sunny's best out here. Right. And it, it's interesting what they're going to leave. They might leave the uh, the Darley. They might leave, like for example, the Valise in hand to play I that. I was thinking the Valise. Yeah, I was thinking you keep the Valise, pitch the other three. Yeah, you call it. Here it goes. Can't let that Argo stick. Actually, going to keep the Dar Lee. So, going to take care of that Argo Ironthorn. Play out oh, the Dar Lee. They're not going to attack. I guess they're okay. They are. They do attack. Keep, keep in mind that, uh, that he doesn't know, but there's manacles in their hand. So, it would have been a yeah. well. Actually, how many units? The three of the units come unstunned here. Yes, Somebody all three come unstunned. Yeah, an attack, but that's actually quite a. Uh, Quite an attack from Sunnyvale on the following turn. Yeah, this is where these units become unstunned. I think this has to be a Manacles a and potentially firm, even a Mechanicals firm. plus Permafrost, maybe. Because this is a huge attack coming from Sunny next turn. Yeah, okay, so they're going to attack here, and in, in the end, I think, wait. No, I, I think this power doesn't really do anything this turn, but we'll see. Okay, yeah. So this is going to deal 8. That's going to put Sunny down to 9. But as we mentioned, this is a lot of attack coming through on Sunny. All three of these are. So yeah, we are going to see a little bit of defense from Soapy. Manacle is going to take out... Let's see. The, the, four, the two 4-4s, four I think. The two 4-4s, four four yeah. yeah. Okay. Two 4-4s. Four four they can use this Darley and uh, on this... Uh, on this uh, Houndmaster to make it... Okay, so they do that. I think I would have... Yeah, I mean, this is still going to get a Hound, though. This is still... Yep, still going to get a Hound it's here. Be 8 damage plus a Hound. Eight, 8 damage with a Hound, I should say. But then on the other side of things, Soapy also then has... 
Because double the going lead through the other way? Double, that would, you know, yeah, Soapy has lead, lethal the 10. other way. Has lethal, but Sunnyvale doesn't know that, so I think <laughs> they, they... This is super interesting. All right, going to ping one. This... Oh, and that, that, that prevents the damage. Because that, that prevents one damage, right? It prevents oh, but they one. discarded the card. That perma would have been really oh, yeah. super helpful. That perma would have been really good. <laughs> All right, second Valise. But this is going to get plus two, plus two to both. <gasps> oh, but they, they have an Argos oh, Technique. Oh, they have an Argos again. Technique! They're... That's going to be enough? Actually, I think it's enough it's anyway. Be enough. Yeah, it's going to be enough. No, it, yeah, it is enough. Anyway. Yeah, 10 That's overwhelm true. was going to be enough right. anyway, but yeah. Plus the technique. Would have had it either way, but yeah, super interesting match. Well done, Soap Yellow. Congratulations. Taking down the king, Sunnyvale. Uh, well done. So condolences, Sunnyvale. I'm a 5-0. Got those five points, but congrats to Soap Yellow on taking that.